Psalms 91 verse 1 to 2. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. <laughs> Psalms chapter 91 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91 verse 1. 2 2. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Alm Almighty day of the Lord He is my my refuge and my and my fourth face fourth face My God, my God in the home, I trust. Psalm, Psalm 91 1. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow. Wow, very good. Thank you for memorizing those verses. Please keep on memorizing those verse for your own good, okay? Okay, shall we pray? How are you? I really miss you, no good. No, it's already our third week doing this video, but it's okay. I know you're good. I know we are, you are with your mom and dad, and you are with your siblings. So, stay home and be good, okay? So, let's pray. Let's pray. Thank you, dear Lord, for this day. Thank you, God, for giving us strength every day. I pray, dear Lord, that you will be the one to take care of us as we are staying at our houses. Thank you, Lord, for mom and dad. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you are showering to us, Father God. Thank you for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, what is our lesson for today? Our lesson for today is about the tabernacle. What is a tabernacle? Teacher will explain that later, but for now, let me ask you. Are you scared of the virus? <gasps> A little. Uh, maybe, teacher. Can I hear? Oh, you should not be scared of the virus. Why? Remember this one. When all the firstborn son were about to be killed in Egypt, what did God do? do to spare the Israelites. He has to, yes, shed the blood on the doorpost so that they will be saved. And they were spared from that plague of death. So God will also protect us with his blood. The blood of Jesus Christ will cover us. So don't be scared. Don't be afraid of the virus. Okay, now. Okay, maybe you're asking, what is the promised land that teacher is teaching us? Remember, we are on a journey. We are traveling. Moses and the Israelites are traveling. And we are going with them in the story. What is the promised land? A promised land actually is, this was already promised to Abraham and his descendants. And the Bible said in, remember in, in the burning bush when, when God says, Moses, Moses. And then what did God say? I have heard your groanings and I am, I am calling you, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm what's this? Uh, God is calling Moses to save the Israelites. And why? God said, I have come down to rescue them. The hand from the hand of the Egyptians and bring them where? Look, bring them up out of the land into good, spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So the land is good, spacious, flowing with milk and honey. 
What do you mean by flowing with milk and honey? It means productive. It means prosperous. It means I, I am thinking of, I am imagining that it, the fruits are so big, the land is so big. My imagination is like this. Look. It, oh, look at the grapes. Oh, wow. This is a land that God is, will give them. A land that is flowing with milk and honey. A land that is called the promise land. Okay, so now what is your promise land? Are we, uh, are, do we have also a promise land teacher? Yes, we have also a promise land. What is that? Our promise land. Look, you are now studying. God is preparing you for your future. What did the Bible say about your future? Your future is good. Remember Jeremiah 29, 11? Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. So as you're studying, as you're studying, you're going to high school, to college, and when you're finished, you will have a job, you will have a business. That is your promised land. God will prosper you in your jobs, in your businesses. He will prosper you where God will call you. Okay? So promise land. Now, there you go. Remember when Moses was with God for 40 days and 40 nights, God was talking about the building of tabernacle. Why? God said you will build the tabernacle. And God showed a, was this a pattern? God showed a pattern for Moses for the face of the tabernacle there. Teacher will explain later the content of the whole tabernacle. Okay. There. How, how will the Israelites build the tabernacle? The instruction of God is the Israelites will have their offering. Gold, silver, bronze, everything. Those who are willing to offer, they have to give in, all, in order for them to build the tabernacle. Look, did they give? Yes, they did. All of them gave from the male, the male. The female, all of them gave their offerings to build the tabernacle. Look, they were very willing to give, to build the tabernacle. There. Okay, now, God has chosen two individuals, two persons who will carry out the work in the tabernacle in the person of Bezalel and Oholiah. Actually, for Bezalel, the Spirit of God came upon him. And God has given him wisdom, all the ability for him to carry out the work for the tabernacle. And all of those who are willing to build, who are willing to help, God has given them skills. God has given them wisdom. Okay, so their leaders are Bezalel and Oholiah. Okay, now, so this is the tabernacle. This portion, look, the tabernacle actually is divided in, into two sections. These are the holy place and the most holy place. When we mean holy, this means different or set apart. What is tabernacle? Tabernacle means a tent, a dwelling place or sanctuary. This is a sacred place for them. This is where they will offer their offerings. This is where they will worship God. And don't you know that this tabernacle is a mobile tabernacle? It's called a mobile tent. What do you mean by a mobile tent? It keeps on moving. Remember, the Israelites are traveling. So when they travel, when God will tell them to travel again, I will tell you later the, uh, what's this, uh, their they have already a guide. I will tell you later that guide. And every time they travel, they bring their tabernacle with them. It can, they set out, meaning they will have to unfold and fold again. And they have to carry those, uh, what is inside the tabernacle. Okay, so we will learn what is inside the tabernacle. What is the importance of those things that are in the tabernacle? Okay, so this is the content of the whole thing. Look. Look at this one. This is the content of the whole thing. So it's like divided into three. So this is the Holy of Holies. It is only the high priest who can enter here in the 
tabernacle. Inside the Holy of Holies is the Ark of Covenant. And then we have what they call the Holy Place. It's only the priest who can enter in this tabernacle. Remember, there's a curtain here. There's also a curtain here. And this is the out, outer courtyard. This is the altar of burnt offerings where they offer their burnt offerings. And this is the laver or wash basin. Teacher will explain this later one by one. Okay. So, remember in the tabernacle, in the Holy of Holies, there is a, an Ark of Covenant. The Ark of Covenant is like this. Look, there are two cherubims to, and have their wings spread here. This is made of acacia wood overlaid with gold so inside the ark of covenant is what look this is what this is very important in, in, to israelites inside the ark of covenant is the gold jar of manna aaron stuff that had budded what what do you mean teacher by aaron stuff that was budded i'll tell you that later and the stone tablets of the covenant or the ten commandments only the high priest can enter here once a year. So this is the one, the Holy of Holies. Only the high priest can enter here once a year or on the day of their atonement. Okay, what else is, is inside? We have the table. This is also overlaid with pure gold. And in this table is the bread of the presence. And only the priest can eat this bread. We have also the lampstand or what we call the menorah. So these lampstands give forth light and it's made of only one of only one piece, meaning it points to Christ. Look, this is the menorah. Although it's made up of many like this, look, but it pointed only to one piece, with me, which means that it's pointing to Christ. Okay, this is the incense altar. This is also overlaid with gold. Wow. Pure gold. And Aaron was instructed to burn incense to the altar each morning and at twilight. Every day as a regular offering to the Lord. Okay. This is the altar of the burnt offering. What is the use of this? This is made of bronze. The Israelites has to, the, the offerings of the Israelites has to be burned here as their offering to the Lord. Okay, so this is the wash basin or the laver. What is the use of the wash basin? Okay, Aaron and his sons wash their hands and feet before going inside the tabernacle. Okay, so the courtyard. Actually, the whole thing is surrounded by a yard. Look, so this is what teacher is telling. The whole thing is surrounded by a yard. This is the tabernacle. This is the, what's this? The altar of the burnt offering. And this is the wash basins where the priests will wash their hands and feet before entering the tabernacle remember the priests can only enter here in tabernacle no, no one can enter here. the israelites will come from here and they give their offerings to the priest and it will be burned here as a pleasing aroma to the lord okay now they also prepared what the garments of the priest the effort the breast piece and others Okay, so the Israelites had done all the work. Now it's done. It's finished. And Moses has to inspect the whole thing. So the tabernacle, the, the, the labor, and the, the, the altar, the bronze altar. So Moses said, it's done. It is good. As God has commanded and instructed, it was done that way. Okay, so now Moses, God said... Take the anointing oil and anoint the whole tabernacle. Anoint also Aaron and his sons as the priest. The high priest during that time was Aaron and the priests are his sons. So they are the only one who will receive the offerings from the Israelites and offer to the Lord. Okay, so look. When the offering was done, when everything was uh, anointed by, I mean, when, when Moses anointed the whole tabernacle, the 
cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Look, and Moses cannot even enter because the cloud has settled on it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Okay, there. So, this is what I'm telling you. The, the tabernacle was mobile. Remember, the tabernacle is a mobile tent. So, the tabernacle is covered by a cloud. There is a cloud. Cloud of the Lord was over the, the tabernacle by day. And a cloud, a fire inside the cloud by night. So, that when, when the Israelites are in camp, remember they are camping, diba? So, when the cloud is steady, it's not moving, meaning the Israelites will stay in that place. But, look. When the cloud moved, the Israelites took down the tabernacle. Okay, this is their guide. There is a cloud over the tabernacle. So when the cloud moves, they will also move, meaning they will also travel. Remember, they are traveling and going to their promised land. So when the cloud moves, they will get all the, the, the labor, the washed basins, the Ark of the Covenant. They have to get and carry it and they will travel again. They will go again going to their promised land. So who will carry the Ark of the Covenant? It's only the, the priests. Nobody can touch the Ark of the Covenant. It's only the priest. So, that's why it's called a mobile tent. It is moving. When they travel, it will also travel with them. Okay? So, there you go. I hope you understood about the tabernacle. There you go. The Holy of Holies, where the high priest will only be the one to enter. The holy place, where the priest are only allowed to enter. And this is the place where the Israelites were have their offerings and be burned here in the altar of burnt offering okay so what is the importance of the tabernacle remember the israelites are traveling the israelites are going from uh, place to place in order for them to reach their promised land now god said moses you build a tabernacle meaning god wants them to have a worship place a temporary worship place where they can they can carry forever they are so what is the lesson of this again god loves them so much god loves the israelites so much that he has to give them a dwelling place he has to give them a tent a temporary tent for them to worship him and the presence of god is felt diba? because the tabernacle is there the presence of god is with them Diba? Because, diba? The presence of God is with them because the tabernacle is there and they got to worship. They got to offer to the Lord. That's how God loved the Israelites so much. Because remember, God has promised them that He will be with them until they reach their promised land with the leadership of who? Yes, Moses. Okay, so that's the story of that tabernacle oh we're still going a lot of stories we still have so much stories in the future because we are traveling we have studies from genesis and we are still in exodus until revelation we will study the bible did you like that yes of course we will study the bible cover by cover okay now for this week i want you to make all of you i want you to make a get well card what is a get well card teacher okay that can, can we show the get well card there okay okay there you go it's something like that why will we make like that teacher because we will give this to those who are in the hospital that are victims of the corona virus those people who are hospitalized because they have uh, infected with corona Virus. okay please keep on praying for them and let's give them as a gesture that we're praying for them and we love them okay mommies please uh, those who can scan or take a picture mommies please do teacher will be the one sending them to 
uh, the hospitals we will send to a, a, a one email and they will be the one to show this to patients so please mommy's help guide your children prepare them colors make it good make it um what's this touching for them so that they will recover well okay let's keep on praying for them let's keep on praying that they will recover okay did you learn something praise god okay let's pray again i want everybody to pray and um uh, let's concentrate praying for those people who has um, coronavirus okay let's pray thank you jesus once again for this day thank you for our lesson lord jesus we pray for those people who are infected with coronavirus we pray the lord that our scientists will already find out the uh, cure and uh, the medicine for these people of God and I pray Lord Jesus that you heal them by the stripes of Jesus they are already healed in Jesus name thank you Lord Jesus we continue to believe and pray that these people will recover the soonest possible time thank you Lord for your goodness continue their Lord to bless all our KK Father God and their families I pray their Lord for your ex abundant blessings be upon them their tables are full of food uh, they will not run out of food father god but lord they will be living in abundance lord as you have promised prosperity for them god thank you for your goodness in jesus name amen okay i'll see you i hope i will see you already in person but if it's not yet it's okay i will still be on video okay okay put your hands put your hands at the center please kk let